quality of their care will suffer if the government has more control over healthcare. Hey YouTube, it's your girl Dr. Siri here coming at you with another video. In today's video, I am going to be creating this blue smoky look and I am also going to be discussing the topic of healthcare for all, especially since we are in the middle of an election and that is a very important and politicized topic. So if you'd like to hear my thoughts on that and if you'd like to see me create this look, just keep on watching. But before you do, don't forget to hit that subscribe button and tap the notifications bell so that way you never miss an upload from me. All right, let's get into it. All right, so I'm dressed in blue because I voted this week and this is my political party's color. So you know who I voted for and who I did not vote for. I'm going to be starting off with my Tatcha Silk Canvas Primer. So today, since we are in the middle of an election, I figured it would be cool to talk about healthcare and how it's been politicized, so to speak. So yes, that's what we're going to be talking about today, healthcare for all and what does that mean? Now, I always say that it is a moot point to talk about healthcare for all because we've always had healthcare for all, you just didn't know it. I'm going to be taking my Wake and Bake Oil from Beauty Bakery. So what do I mean when I say that it's always been this way and we just didn't know it? From a financial standpoint, the people who can pay for insurance, the people who have enough money to afford health insurance premiums are the people who have always paid for those who don't have insurance. With Obamacare and the idea of government funded insurance or government subsidized insurance, it just made it more transparent that you would be paying for everyone's health care. Whereas before Obamacare, it was kind of done under the table and you didn't know that you were paying for everyone's health care. Next, I am going to be taking my Beauty Bakery Cake Mix Foundation in the shade 31. Now, why was this a thing? So there is something called Imtala. Imtala is basically this act that was put into place that said that hospitals basically could not turn people away if they didn't have health insurance or couldn't afford to pay for their care. So Imtala was a way to, um, you know, protect the public to to ensure that the public received the care that they needed regardless of their ability to pay for that care. Well you can imagine if hospitals are unable to close their doors to people, how are they supposed to stay funded, stay, you know, because it, it's a business. Remember we always say hospitals are there to make money, right? It's a business. So if that business can't stay open because its customers can't afford to pay for the service, then you wind up with a lot of hospitals closing, right? Um, so how do they prevent that? How do they keep from closing? How how do they honor Mtala? and still run and function. And the way they do it is this. So you're probably thinking, how is it that I'm paying for other people's insurance then? Or how is it that I'm paying for other people's healthcare? I don't get it, I, I pay my bills every month. I'm not paying everybody else's bills. Example, an EKG costs, what, 10 cents, right? And if you look at your hospital bill for that EKG, the charge is gonna be, I don't know, $500. So 10 cent, and $500. You just pay for a lot of EKGs. And this is why we've always paid for the uninsured, whether we knew it or not. That's how they do it. They mark up the prices of, let's say EKGs, Tylenol, just anything you get in a hospital. Like for instance, you know how much Tylenol costs when you go to the drugstore. Okay, sorry, I have to focus on that foundation. So you know how much Tylenol costs when you go to a drugstore. You can get a bottle of Tylenol for, I don't know, eight bucks or something like that, right? If you go to a hospital and you get Tylenol administered to you, that one tablet of Tylenol might be $50 or $100 for one tablet of Tylenol. So you just pay for a lot of Tylenols, even though it was one tab. Do you see what I'm saying? You see where I'm going with this? I am going to be taking my Huda Beauty Overachiever Concealer in the shade Cookie Dough. Do you see where this is going? You're basically, so the hospitals will increase the prices of things so that the cost of healthcare goes up, right? If the cost of healthcare goes up, then insurance premiums will go up, right? The amount that you have to pay for your insurance will inevitably rise. Then the other reason that hospitals are raising prices is because insurance reimbursements are low. So let's say an insurance company is only going to reimburse the hospital 70% right of, of the charges that they put forth. 
that means that if you want to get back 100% of what you spent, then you will have to mark up the price to at least get what you spent. That all kind of works together to mean that you and I have to pay higher insurance premiums because we are ultimately paying not only for the care that we get, we're paying for the care that the uninsured get because thanks to Mtala, which Mtala is very necessary, because thanks to Mtala, the uninsured are able to receive health care. Oh, so this is why Obamacare was important or um, implemented, right? Because instead of you paying a higher insurance premium because the cost of healthcare is so high, what Obamacare sought to do was make it so that everyone or more people had insurance. So that way everyone's premiums will go down. Granted, the premiums are subsidized with, I think, taxpayer dollars. Um, so that's why everyone was all up in arms about Obamacare. Like, oh, you know, my tax dollars are gonna be going towards paying for other people's insurance. And it's like, well, either your tax dollars are going to be going towards it or you're going to be paying higher insurance premiums and that's going to be going towards it. So that's why I always say that it's a moot point to talk about healthcare for all because it's always existed. It's just you didn't know it. Next, I'm going to be taking my Fenty Beauty setting powder in the shade Banana. Now, the other piece of this that needs to be addressed is the idea that a lot of people think that the quality of their care will suffer if the government has more control over healthcare. I don't know that that's true. I don't know that that would be true because doctors are supposed to practice medicine according to standards of care, right? And the way that we treat patients is not dictated by, how do I put it? The way that we treat patients is just the way we're supposed to treat patients, right? Now, insurance comes into play if let's say a certain drug um, isn't covered under your insurance. Let's say I prescribe you one drug, right? And that drug is not covered under your insurance, then there is usually an equally effective form that I can prescribe you, um, but it's not that it's a lesser quality. Like for example, lisinopril for blood pressure versus enalapril. They're the same class of drug. They both work the same way to lower blood pressure. It's just that some insurances may cover one or another and, and who knows why. The quality of your care should not change no matter what. I know a lot of people don't believe that and I don't know what to tell you. Next, I'm going to be taking the Fenty Beauty Eye Primer. I remember once a friend of mine, she had a urinary tract infection and they gave her Bactrim, which is an antibiotic that can be used to treat urinary tract infections. And she was upset that the Bactrim cost $6. And I asked her like why the cost was so upsetting. Like it's, it's six dollars and her thing was a six dollar drug isn't gonna work to treat my infection i need like a hundred dollar antibiotic now if you're a physician you know how ridiculous that sounds but there are people who think this way the reason that that sounds ridiculous to physicians is because there's no real correlation between the cost and the effectiveness of a drug newer medications tend to cost more money because they're new they've you know been newly researched and they're just hitting the scene, so they tend to cost more money, but that doesn't mean that they're necessarily more effective. They're usually comparable to other medications that are out there. Next, I'm going to be taking my Fenty Beauty bronzer in the shade Beige and Gal. So yeah, the way drugs work is how they work. There are several different drugs you can use to treat urinary tract infections, and I'm sure the majority of them are under $10. I mean, I don't know, but I would presume because they're all older. Like they're not like some new, you know, hot drug that costs a billion dollars to treat urinary tract infections. It's no, in any event, I, I just, I think healthcare for all is a great thing. I think that it's something that is needed, um, especially in a world where so many people walk around uninsured when the way Americans live is just like our the American diet, the standard American diet is super unhealthy. And we are obese as a country. We are sick as a country, especially with all of the comorbidities that go along, the comorbidities or illnesses that go along with being obese, hypertension, diabetes, bad knees. Knees cannot carry around all that weight forever. They're going to give out. I'm gonna put my bronzer in my crease to serve as my transition shade. To be efficient, I did one eye off camera and what we're doing is a blue smoky eye, you know, in honor of all these politicians blowing smoke during election season. Where was I? Oh, so in line with medications and discussing um, efficacy and, and that sort of thing, I should mention Trump. I am going to be taking the ColourPop Blue Moon palette use bronzer in my crease to serve as my transition shade already um so next i'm gonna go on with the color moonlight so trump right and his coronavirus now i 
I'll only believe he had coronavirus if he dropped it, okay? But he apparently was given Regeneron, which is an antibody cocktail that is in clinical trials right now, like it's being studied. It has not been FDA approved yet to be you know, used to manage coronavirus, but Trump was able to receive it. Now, a lot of people were speculating that he received it because he's rich. That's not why he received it. He received it compassionately. It's a medication that is not available to anyone, anyone. And he received it because he's the president of the United States, not because he has money. And a lot of studies have shown, I will say, that the richer people are, the more they tend to feel entitled to dictate their care. And they tend to be more satisfied with their care because they're kind of dictating it. But those people also have increased mortality. So as patient satisfaction goes up, so does mortality. Why? Because you have people who are not doctors dictating their care. Do with that information what you will. But all that to say, just because someone is rich does not mean that they are getting better care. It means that they can afford the care that is recommended for them they can afford the care that's recommended to them better than someone who is not rich but that doesn't mean that they're just getting better care the next color i'm going to go in with is starry eyed which is a little bit darker blue the next shade i'm gonna go in with is clued in which is like a navy blue so hopefully hopefully all of that made sense and hopefully you all understand why politicizing this whole healthcare for all business is a moot point you know hospitals have to keep their doors open some kind of way if they are expected to provide care to people who cannot afford it then the way that they keep their doors open is by overcharging the people who are paying for health insurance so and this is why a lot of um hospitals in lower income areas end up closing because if you don't have enough people coming in that can actually pay for healthcare, then you, your doors are gonna close. You're not going to be able to keep, keep them open. All right, I'm going to be going in with a shimmery shade called Tide Pool. I am going to be going in with another shimmery shade that's a little bit darker called Mad About You. And then I am going to be going in with a lighter shimmery shade called Billie Jean. Billy Jeans, not my lover. And uh, lastly, I'm going to take that navy blue shade, clued in, and pack a little bit more on my outer V just to smoke it out more. All right, we are even steaming. Y'all remember that show? The next thing I'm gonna do is brush all this away and set my face with the Fenty Beauty setting powder in the shade Honey. So tell me, now that you all know that you've basically been paying for everyone's health insurance all along, um, how do you feel about Obamacare and healthcare for all? Because with Obamacare, your premium should be a little lower. Should be, I don't know if they actually are. I personally like the idea of more people having insurance. I like the idea that, you know, insurances can't penalize you for having pre-existing conditions. Things like that that were unfair, honestly, before Obamacare. And what I personally would like to see is an amendment to Obamacare to penalize hospitals for poor maternal outcomes. That's that's something I would love to see. Next, I'm going to be taking the Anastasia Brow Wiz in dark brown. Under Obamacare, um, one of the reimbursements that suffers is heart failure readmissions, meaning if someone has heart failure or an exacerbation of their heart failure and they are readmitted to the hospital within 30 days, that's called a bounce back. And that means that the hospital won't get reimbursed for that bounce back. So the care that the patient requires um, during that second hospitalization won't be reimbursed. And the idea is that the bounce back should be preventable. Now, that may or may not be true, but it is what it is. The next thing I'm going to be doing is my mascara. And I'm going to be going in with the Pat McGrath Fetish Eyes. I think that ha more people having health insurance is way better for hospitals that are in underserved areas because those hospitals are the ones that are more likely to have their doors shut if they can't afford to stay open. Now, one thing I will say as a criticism about Obamacare is the mandate. There was a there was a mandate that, you know, if you didn't have health insurance, um, you were penalized for it financially. And to me, you know, I don't think, now I could be naive, but I don't think people walk around and just choose not to pay for it for healthcare. Because even with subsidized insurance premiums for some people, they were still too, too much money. And so to penalize people who already can't afford it, Financially, it just, it just seems cruel, honestly. But I don't know. I, I would like to think that a lot of people would prefer to have health insurance, and I think that people would prefer to have it be affordable. And the unfortunate reality is, you know, no matter how affordable you try to make it, sometimes it just isn't. And so I just, I'm glad that Trump and his administration got rid of, of that aspect of it, the, the mandate or the, the financial penalty. At least last I checked, I think that's what they did. The next thing I'm 
going to do is put on a blush and I am using Peach Twist by MAC. I'm just taking a fluffy brush and I'm gonna buff all that out to make it look more blended. Now this is my first time trying this out. I'm gonna be using the Artist Couture Conceited Loose Highlight. As always, to line my lips, I'm gonna be using Max Cork Lip Liner. For my lipstick, I'm going to be using the Juvia's Place Nude Lipstick in the shade Lady. This is the color I forgot to swatch in my swatch video, so I'll be wearing it today so you all can see. And this is right up my alley. All right, I'm gonna do something with this hair and I'll be back. The last thing I'm gonna do is set my face and I'm going to be using the Fenty Beauty What It Do setting spray. I don't know why I do this because I'm not going anywhere. All right, that is it. That is the final look. Let me know what y'all think about this look. Let me know what y'all think about the information I shared about healthcare for all. And yeah, don't forget to like, subscribe, comment, share this video with someone else who may be interested. And I will see you all in my next video. Bye.